Welcome to the 2020-2021 school year here at Copley High School. Uh, for those of you that are new, I'm Eric Smith, building principal. I've got two uh, indiv individuals with me that are very important to our building. I've got Andy Jalwin. Uh, he is our athletic director. Some of you may have seen him around some of our athletic events. I also have the Dean of Students, Ms. Amanda Slider. Um, she'll be here uh, to help us with all uh, things related to student issues as we go through the year. This year, we are opening up the opportunity for any student who is scheduled for a study hall during Mods 1-2 to sign up for late arrival. If you have transportation that is reliable and you are able to get to the school without busing, you can begin your school day during Mods 3-4 at the freshman, sophomore, or junior level. This is no longer a privilege reserved for seniors only. We do need you to sign up on the form that we have on our building website if you'd like to apply for late arrival. Again, in order to do this, your schedule must currently list a study study hall during mods 1-2 and you have to have reliable transportation. Similarly, if you end the day with the study hall during mods 14-15, you're also able to sign up for early dismissal. Please find that form on the district website and be consistent after you have applied for late arrival or early dismissal. You'll need to commit to the quarter once you have signed up and been approved and received a schedule change. For those students who are coming into the building during mods 3, 4, or after due to late arrival or CCP classes, we're going to ask that you enter the front doors. Once you've entered the front doors, there will be an aide at the table able to assist you. You can either log in your attendance with the aide or you can scan the QR codes that will be placed throughout the lobby for entering the building late and checking in for attendance purposes. Again, this is only for students who are in CCP or who have um, late arrival scheduled into their daily routine. If you're coming into the building late because of a doctor's appointment or for another pre-planned absence or pre-planned tardy, or similarly if you're leaving due to um, doctor's appointments or if you've been called out, we're going to ask that you continue to use the protocol we've always used. You will enter the building and exit through the main office for those uh, pre-planned uh, tardies or early dismissals. But for students who have late arrival or early dismissal, you may leave through the front doors. Okay, when students return to the buildings, you'll notice that all of our hallways have been marked to control the flow of traffic. The yellow line marked down the middle of all hallways will keep students as they change classes uh, distance from each other. We ask that you please follow the directional arrows during class changes. Additionally, during class changes, we ask that you quickly go from your class you're leaving to the next class. You will be able to use your lockers during the day. However, we are asking that you stop at your locker four times during the day. In the morning, before lunch, after lunch, and at the end of the day. During class changes, we would ask that you please not stop at your lockers to keep the students moving quickly through the hallways to their next class. Welcome to the main office. The students, staff, and our community's health and safety is our first priority. So this year you will be required to have an appointment before coming down to the office to see a guidance counselor, a building administrator, or the nurse. Speaking of the nurse, we have two clinics this year, the well clinic and the sick clinic. When you come down to get your medication or other um, um, miscellaneous items from the nurse, you'll visit the well clinic. However, if you're presenting with a COVID-19 symptom, you will visit the sick clinic. A reminder regarding COVID-19 symptoms, which are fever, cough, shortness of breath, chills, muscle pain, fatigue, sore throat, headache, new loss of taste or smell, nausea or vomiting, diarrhea, congestion, or runny nose. If you are sent down to the office to see the nurse for any one of those symptoms, you will be required to have a parent come and pick you up to take you home from school. Additionally, you will not be permitted to return to school without a doctor's note clearing you for that return. And also, as a good reminder, 
please don't report to school at the start of the day if you are experiencing any one of these symptoms. Welcome to the Commons. Our cafeteria is where you will also report for your study hall during the school day. If you are scheduled for a study hall outside of the lunch mods, this is where you will report for any study hall. During study halls, we will have our students socially distanced, one student per table, to ensure uh, safety and adhere to our protocols. During lunch, we will have two seats at each table. We're going to ask that students congregate to the cafeteria on the first day of school and sit at a table next to an individual that you would like to sit next to for the duration of the quarter. On the first day, um, a building um, administrator will walk around and take a roll call to identify students at the various tables to create a seating chart. This is necessary so that we can follow up with appropriate contact tracing in the event that we have a COVID-19 positive case in our building. So please make sure that on the first day of school, you sit at a table with someone you'd like to be next to for the entire quarter and that each and every day you report directly to that table. In addition to our cafeteria, we will have additional seating. Welcome back. I uh, wanted to show you another area that we can use for uh, our lunch mods. We've got a couple that are rather large, and so for that, to keep our distancing, we do have the balcony space here. You'll notice all the desks are spread apart so that you can eat um, free and clear of anyone else. Uh, this would be an ideal space to get some work done um, after you're done with your lunch as well. Uh, we will potentially have a couple of other areas and some hallways if they are needed, if our lunches are large enough. Um, there is also the potential for an area like this to be used for a classroom if those classrooms are overfilled and can't fit in other areas within our building. Okay. This year all of our classrooms are equipped with hand sanitizing stations. As you enter the classroom we ask that you sanitize your hands and immediately have a seat at your pre-assigned desk. All of our desks are socially distanced from the desks around them and facing in the same direction. We ask that you please leave your desks where they are and avoid going to different parts of the classroom. We need you to stay seated in your desk for the duration of the period. Should you need to use the restroom during the mod that you're assigned to that classroom, please ask your teacher for a restroom pass. Additionally, if you need to visit the office for any reason, you will have to have a pass in order to be um, allowed into to the office as well. Counseling appointments have to be made ahead of time and if you have a need to see a school nurse please communicate that to your teacher so that the teacher can call down to the nurse's office and let someone know you're coming down. This year to accommodate for a gradual release at the end of the school day we are going to announce dismissal for student drivers first. At 221, if you're a student driver or if you ride with a student driver, you're going to be the first group of students to be dismissed. We ask that you leave your 1415 class immediately, grab your belongings from your locker, and exit the building as quickly as possible. At that time, we ask all cars please leave the parking lot in a timely fashion. At 223, we will release students who are being picked up by parents. So at 223, those students would uh, report to their lockers as well, retrieve their belongings, and exit the building um, in, a, in a swift manner. Finally, our bus riders will be released at the regular time, 225. At 225, all students riding the bus will be asked to report to their lockers, retrieve their belongings, and get on the bus to leave the building as soon as possible. If you're staying after school for a sport, that should be prearranged with your coach. Um, we're asking that all students report directly to um, the predetermined spot where the coach has asked you uh, to sign in for your practice. If there is downtime, at the end of the school day, let's say for instance school ends at 2.25 and your practice does not begin until 4.30 or sometime um, in the evening, we do ask that all students go home and then return to school. There will not be an opportunity for you to stay in the building until practice begins. Only students who have practice beginning at the, medi at the immediate end of school will be allowed to uh, stay after. 
Thanks for taking time to take a look at some of our new procedures and processes that we'll have here at Copley High School. We will continue to update everybody when it comes to any new changes or anything that comes up as a result of us figuring things out as students re-enter our building. Uh, we are wishing and hoping for a wonderful uh, start of the year uh, to keep us in the building, keep us safe, and uh, just to do everything we do the Copley way. Thank you.